Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me and watch this video. In the last video, we made sliding cover and we made this page as a packet. As you can see, you have plenty of things you can put right here. We made that packet on this side for some smaller tags or narrower tags. And in this video, we will be working on a last page. Now this page, as you can see, it is really bulky. So we're gonna make something simple in here. Most likely it will be a repeat of whatever we had in some of the previous pages. And for this page, we will make little expendable packet to put all other things that you just don't know where to put it maybe or if you are on vacation and you brought a whole bunch of stuff you can put it in here or maybe you just collected some things and you don't know what to do with them where to put them where to organize them you can always put it right here so for this last page we will make something simple for this side and over here, as I mentioned, expendable packet. I will use brown cardstock. This is 65 pounds. And long time ago, I purchased this collection from Michaels. And I think this paper from this collection would go really nice with that brown as an accent. So, for this page, it would be really difficult to work on this page because everything is so bulky already. So, I am going to make some packets, but we will start... Um, we will start with the cardstock. So the cardstock, we will cut to five inches. And let me just make sure. We can make five and a quarter. And now we will cut three pieces. The first piece will be two inches. Next piece will be one and a half. And the third piece will be one inch. So I think you can guess already what we are making. But I think we need to cut down a little bit on that bulkiness because when we start filling this up even more, you want to have plenty of room to put things in. So for this I will use this paper, but I will cut this paper in half. So this is six inches. I will cut it in half into six because I will use this paper on the other side. So this one, I will cut down to five inches. And now, let me just trim it. We will cut two inches, one and a quarter, and three quarters. So I believe you can make anything look very pretty. 
but I think it depends on the paper coordination. This one is too long because this is two inches. So I really need this to be one and three quarters. That's okay, we just trim it. So that's one, two, and three. Of course, we position this right on the middle. And the third piece. So now we can glue all those three pieces right in here and as you can see all the colors are matching very nicely. So the bottom one we're going to apply the glue on three sides. And I'm positioning this one approximately one eighth of an inch from the edge. Okay. So now the second one only on two sides, a little strip of glue. Gonna leave a little bit space in between. And the third one. So the way I'm spacing them, I'm trying to keep approximately the same space on both sides. I mean, in between both pieces right here. So this part is done. So if you have something long, you can put it here. If you got shorter piece, you can put it here. And something really short right here. So as you can see, you got plenty of room to put anything on this side. So for this side, we will make big packet. We will make packet that measures approximately five inches. By seven and a half. So let's see, this one is six. This is not enough because it's less than six and we need to cut the paper to six inches by 
actually five and a half inches. I apologize. Five and a half by eight and a half, and that's exactly what we have. Now, so we will use this piece, and now this is the piece that I saved. This is the other half. I, I used one half, this is the second half. And we will cut to seven and a half. This sheet is five and a half. We will cut this one to four and a half. So now we will score. So this piece we will score on three sides. Half an inch, half an inch, and half an inch. This piece we will score the long way. So we will score at half an inch and one inch. So this will be the cover, the closure. Now all three pieces, let's just fold all of the scores. And now I will miter the corners and I'm cutting straight across. So I will also cut little V shape right here. Just when we glue it, nothing is sticking up. So this will be the envelope and this will be the closure for the envelope. Now, for the closure, I don't want it to be just straight like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to position this right here on my board and I am going to cut angle. From this corner, I'm going to cut to, I'm going to make it angle one and a half inch on the bottom. Okay, and I will do the same thing on this side. So of course I have to turn this upside down. So now it's going to be corner right here where the score is on an angle to one and a half inch. So this will be the closure. Now, this half inch score, you might want to bend a little bit because half inch, I believe, is too much, but it's easier to work with, and this will work. So what we're going to do, this will be the envelope, and here will be the cover. Now, I mentioned to you that we're going to make this expendable, and we will. So, the dimension from this score into here is 5 inches. So, let's cut one piece. That is 5 inches. And for now, I'm going to leave it the way it is because this, we will start scoring and creating accordion. So now the five inch dimension 
is right here. That is the height of this piece. So we will score at half an inch, half one inch, one and a half. So every half an inch we're going to score all the way to the end. We're not going to use all of that, but I think it's just easier to do it this way than start counting. So now we fold this over. And right now I'm folding one way just to make this a little bit softer. Okay, and now I'm going to do the opposite way just to soften this up a little bit. And we don't need to do this all the way to the end. But Okay. So now, as you can see, we can make the accordion But you don't want to make it too big because we are not allowing too much space on this side. If you want to fit a cordon in here, then we would have to score this flap in addition to whatever we have. Now, so all those pieces fold over. What we're going to do, we're going to glue it just like that. We're going to glue it to that inside flap. But, you know, I think I'm going to trim this just a little bit. Just so this portion doesn't go all the way to the top. So I'm going to cut off maybe a quarter of an inch. And now, it depends how many of those folds you want and I think this would be plenty so I am gonna cut it right here so what you have is one two three four five folds okay so we will glue it this way but we're gonna make little angle and all the edges, all four edges, just like that. And now we will glue it like this. And I will position this more towards the top. So let's apply the glue. And this is how we're going to do it. So we apply the glue right here. I'm going to position this right there. And we just glue it. Okay. So as you can see, this will expand a little bit. So we're going to do this to the other side. So this is what we have left. So we will do it this way, the same way as we did previously. And we're going to have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So I am going to trim off this right here. Okay. So you see both sides will be the same and as we glue this side you can see that both those la last flaps they are facing towards the inside on both sides so let's trim the corners on this one also let's make this little angle okay 
and now we will glue it. So we are putting this right on the inside, just like that. So let me apply the glue right here. And I need to see what I'm doing. So I'm putting this just like that on the inside. Let's make sure this adheres. Okay. And here we have our packet. As you can see, it will be expendable. Now, you could leave this flat as it is, or you can also cut out little shape in here. So what I have, I have masking tape. So I'm gonna put it on the opposite side. Let me align this so it's nice and straight. And I do wanna see it and I'm right-handed, so let me do it this way. However deep you want, and you're trying to do this on the middle. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna make it mark just with the pen all around, just like that. And I will just cut this off. So now you're going to be able to put some pieces inside and you can actually see what's inside. So now this is ready to be glued. So we will glue it just like that, kind of on the middle. So let's apply first glue to the bottom piece. Just like that, we squish this and we will position it, just like that. So now let's make sure this all adheres. Okay, so as you can see, now we need to glue those two flaps. So we just apply the glue onto those flaps, right here and right here. When you turn this, just squish this just like that. And now we can squish it from this side, just to make sure that this adheres on both sides. Now, if you want, you can go on the inside and do the same thing. So as you can see, we have really nice packet right here. Now this portion is soft, but that's okay because that's where our cover is gonna come up. So now this is the top. So you see this portion right here, we're gonna glue it onto the inside, just like that. So wherever your envelope ends, we're gonna position the score, just like that, in here. Now, before we do that, I don't like this white background. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna cover with the brown. So maybe we're gonna see a little bit of white, but not that much. So I will just apply the glue right here. And that actually is gonna give us additional body to that closure. So now I'm putting this against the score, but make sure you can still fold it over. So let's squish this. just like that and now now we can trim it 
So just the way we are trimming notebooks, we can trim this, just the knife against the cover, just like that. And now the bottom portion. So to cover this, we can also cut strips of cardstock so it's not that visible because our junk journal that page is a little bit darker so i am gonna cut i need to trim this a little bit so i am gonna cut this just a tiny bit less than half an inch and we need two pieces and now we can glue this just like that so I will apply the glue right in between those two scores and we will glue this piece first So when you glue it, pay attention to the spacing right here in between to make sure that you are gluing this straight. And now the second piece. And we do the same thing. Just across. <clears throat> if you want, you can put it towards the edge just so you can see the white only on one side right in between okay and now we can just cut this off okay and this will be our cover so now as i mentioned previously the first score will be even with this top, just like that. So let's apply the glue on this side right here. That's where the design paper is. And now we will position this right on the middle. So when you put down this part you can still see the score because we want to be able to close this really nicely and here is our closure so now i'm gonna make this closure also with velcro And I think just to have a Velcro, it's good enough. Now, when you close it, don't stretch it because you want that lip. When you start putting things on the inside, you want to be able to expand this. So, just like that. Oops, and I glue it one on the top of the other the wrong way. Yeah glue on the top so again i'm not stretching this okay let's make sure this out here and here is our closure so with this simple yet is giving you a lot of room and you see this this you could actually flatten or round this up it doesn't matter but as you can see now you have plenty of room right here to put whatever you want so as you can see this is really nice and big junk journal with many different spaces so this part is done now we will work on the cover in the next video.
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time with me. And I really hope that you like this project and you will join me to see me making the cover. Thank you so much and hope to see you soon.